So that's what I did. So fast forward to that day, right? Uh, I opened my phone to get ready for the meeting and I realized that there is an app that I need to install for that meeting because I ha I've had the impression that it will be a phone call right exactly the same as it was with the previous recruiter that they had. But when I opened the instructions, I noticed that it, it was in a specific uh, meeting. I believe it was meet up or something like, no, it was not meet up. Uh, it was meet, I believe, meet, um, M-E-E-T. So I started to install that. And as soon as I installed, it was probably 12 or five or something like that. And I was there for five, 10 minutes and nobody was there. So it's like, okay, I was late for five minutes. So probably I, I missed my, my chance. Um, I was late, so he left. Um, but then I kind of get out, got out of that application and my phone rang and like, wow, nice. So I kind of immediately, I knew that is this person. So I started to talk with him. It's this, his, um, I think he's the head of recruitment at Google, um, who is based in California, but I'm not quite sure because in the videos, uh, like links to the videos that they sent to me in the titles, I saw that that's him. I saw his name and I saw his title and I believe he's the head of recruitment at, at Google. So we started to chat. He asked me where I am what I'm doing, what is my background, what is my availability for the interview. Also, he walked me about, he walked me through the process. What is the process? What is the Google interview process? He told me that it's five interviews, probably it will start at this time and probably will end at this time and so on. So he asked me when am I available. Right away, I told him exactly the same thing as I told the previous recruiter that this is what's happening and I will be available a week and a half from now or something like that. I don't remember exactly how long it was that I had. So, and we agreed on that in two weeks, we will have something set up. So uh, we hang up right away. I get an email from him saying, thank you for chatting with me. I'm sending your information for the coordinator to schedule your, your on-site interview and I'll let you know as soon as I have the information um, available. And we left it at that. And probably for a week or so, a week, yeah, probably it was a week, I didn't hear anything from him. And I was not worried. Um, and practically it was because I was super busy. I didn't have time and time was flying so fast that I didn't even realize that it was about a week since we last chatted. And at the same time, I thought maybe that's their process. Maybe it takes so long uh, in order for an interview to be scheduled because it's so big and has so many interviews, Google interviews, a lot of people, right? So then later I get an email from him. It's about a week later. He's saying, sorry, um, it seems that I made a mistake. It seems that I didn't send your information to be scheduled for an interview. It seems that I forgot to submit it or something like that. And he said that he already did that right away. And I believe right next day or the day after, I got an email from another person at Google and I believe uh, she is an event coordinator, not event, interview coordinator at Google. And she asked me when I'm available. I told her my availability and in a week, no, that was a week, I'm sorry, in, in a day, I got an email from her asking me if I'm available for an interview uh, Friday 18th, October, Friday 18th of, of October. Yeah, it was October 18th. And she asked me if I can be there in California and Mount View Google Complex for the interview. Send me the address um, and the time that it will start at 10 and it will end at 3. So that's basically the information I got. And also she included, if you have any questions about the transportation or how to get here, please let me know. So I kind of uh, took her up on that offer. I told her, since you are doing this as a professional every, on a regular basis, you know the best routes, the best practices, how do I get there the best? She actually told me, um, as soon as you confirm your uh, interview date and time, uh, I'll get um, an email from their um, tra travel agent um, and we will set up an inter uh, 
all the logistics, all the travel and all the accommodation that I need for me to get to, their in to the interview. But first I needed to fill out two forms and that form was an, an NDA form and some another form, I don't remember exactly. Oh, it was about um, your recommendation. So you needed to have three people that they can reach out to talk about on your behalf to see who you are and who you are, what you are about and stuff like that. And stuff like, are you allowed to work in the United States? Do you, do you require a visa or not? So that kind of information I needed to fill in. So as soon as I have that um, submitted to her, I got an email from the travel agent saying the information, here's the phone number, here's your confirmation um, ID. Please call us from oh, this number from I'd say it was 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Pacific time uh, zone uh, to set up your travel um, travel plans. So that's what I did. I didn't call them that day. I called them the next day and um, it was a really nice experience. The lady was really friendly. She asked me, when do I want to travel? And she recommended for me to travel. Uh, Thursday evening because the interviews at 10 and the flights that were there available I uh, were not not making it in time so the flight was the Thursday evening and she asked me when I want to come um, return back I said if it's possible that Friday night because I wanted to be back as soon as possible with my family and that's what we did uh, we scheduled the Thursday evening a flight out from Seattle to California from Seattle to California, San Jose, um, and it was from 5 p.m. and I was I got there probably at 8 p.m. Yeah, and also she scheduled a hotel, actually reserved a hotel for me, um, probably 20 minutes away from the Google campus, and scheduled the time uh, to fly back. It was the Friday after the interview and it was at 7 in the evening. So it, could get, it got me plenty of time to, um, to get to the airport after the interview. And she asked me if I will need to do any changes to do that um, at least 24 hours in advance so they can um, cancel their reservation or do any changes with the flight. And um, yeah, that's kind of what it was. As soon as I had that uh, all sorted out, I emailed back my recruiters. Actually, at this time, I emailed two of them saying that um, I got help from the travel agent, everything is scheduled, everything sorted out. So I thanked them for the nice experience. And they were happy, so I'd see you at the interview. So um, that's kind of, that, I believe that was uh, Wednesday, yeah. The flights were scheduled on Wednesday and the interview was Friday. So as soon as I knew when the interview is, is when I'm traveling, all the information was available, I requested a day off from work uh, for Friday so I can um, focus on that. So I took a one day vacation, so I had some vacation accumulated. So Thursday, the day when I needed to, to fly out, I worked for probably half a day. Yeah, I, it was a little bit more than half a day. And I started to pack everything. I packed everything in my backpack. It was the DockerCon backpack. Everything was fitted, fit there. So I basically, I took uh, my laptop, um, and algorithm books, um, my outfit for the interview, and that was practically it. Uh, yeah, that was everything I took with me except that I had also uh, clothes that I had on for travel. I, I like to travel and feel comfortable. So as soon as I was done, I had the car um, waiting for me in front of the house. Actually, every time I, I travel, I schedule uh, a pickup uh, car uh, so it will take me to the airport because I don't like to park at the airport. I don't want to leave my car there. So just in case you're in, in Seattle area and you need their services, it's, it's East Side Limo. It's really, really a great company. I used them for the last five years and they always were, are on time and the experience is amazing. Okay, getting to the point. Um, as soon as they picked me up, dropped me at the airport, I checked in, I flew in with no 
events, all normal, right? Got in from Seattle to San Jose. I got an Uber, uh, checked into the hotel. When I checked in at the hotel, they knew who I am. Uh, they knew that I'm there with Google, so they handed me this Google. Let's see, is that it? They handed me this uh, Google welcome. Uh, we are delighted you traveled all this way to see us. We hope you enjoy your time here. And here's like welcome and some kind of suggestions of what to see and what to do while you're there. However, I got there around 8, uh, around 8.30 in the evening. I was planning to, um, to brush up a little bit on my algorithm skills. So that's why I took the, the car, or the, the book with me. However, I was exhausted and I decided like eh, one hour won't, won't change much. <laughs> I won't learn a lot right before the interview. So I decided to go uh, to sleep. So I went to sleep and then like out in a little period of time, I wake up because of the loud noise. And I realized that that was the heating and the cooling system. Uh, the unit that they had in the room, it was Oh my god, it was so loud. I had the impression that um, there's this 40, like a 60s refrigerator that was really old and really loud. So it was kicking in every, I don't know, half an hour or something like that. And I decided to change the temperature to go, make it to warm up and then to cool down. And still it was, um, it was kicking in. And um, I was trying to turn it off. I could not figure out how to turn it off. So, yeah, the night was kind of rough. I, could not, I didn't have a good night's sleep because of that thing that was waking me up all night. But now uh, let's look at the bright side. I got up, I was excited. I was nervous at the same time. And I was preparing myself for what was to come. So I had my clothes ironed on, I put them on. I called it over at about nine o'clock. I checked the Google Maps to see how far it is, how long it should take me to get there, and it was about 20 minutes. Once I got in an Uber, we were driving there, and the traffic was horrible. I'd say at nine-ish something, the traffic was still bad. So on the way in, I was just exploring the areas. It, pretty much Silicon Valley is not much different than the area where we are. If you are walking in, let's say Redmond, right around uh, Microsoft campus, or go to Google campus here in Kirkland or something, it's not much different. Actually, the difference is that here rains a lot and it's greener, everything is greener. Over there, it's kind of dry. Um, it's warmer, nice, sunny, but it's dry. So that's kind of the only difference that I noticed. Besides that, everything kind of the same. The buildings are kind of the same. So yeah, that's my view on Silicon Valley. I didn't find it that different. I kind of had really different expectations and I was like, hmm, it's not what I expected. So the moment we got into the Google campus, it's pretty simple. Just two, three level stories, all had huge bright colors for the buildings and the famous, um, bicycles, Google bicycles and all that stuff. As soon as uh, we got into the building that I was told to go and I had, I had in advance, I was told that I will have to have um, a photo ID um, document so they can uh, see and verify that's me. I had everything with me. So as soon as we got to the building where I was supposed to be, um, also, I was recommended to be there 15 minutes before my interview. So my interview is at 10. So they asked me to be there at 9.45 and I got on time there. Actually, before I went into the building, I decided to just explore for a minute or two the Google campus just to see what it is about. So as I was telling you, the famous Google bicycles, people are biking all around. Bicycles are practically at every building, like 510 bicycles right in front there. And also a lot of outside, outdoor sitting arrangements. They were hammocks, um, chairs, and like a lot of different stuff that were really colorful and nice. Also, I noticed there was a tennis court, a golf, mini golf. Um, what, what did I else I noticed? Oh, yeah, there was, um, a 
volleyball, the beach volleyball with sand and all that stuff. So it was pretty neat and cool. I really liked that aspect of it. So as soon as I kind of looked around for a minute or two, I went into the building. If you find this valuable, feel free to like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider to click that red button to subscribe and also the notification bell to get notified when I'm uh, putting the next video, like just the next part of this video because it will be multiple parts, right? And if you have any questions or any clarifications that you want to hear, feel free to add them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer those. Thank you again and see you next time. Happy engineering. Bye-bye.